Okay, so today I'm going to be sharing my secrets when it comes to building a strong link. So I'm going to go over everything from like modules, uh, drone, pilot, pilot skills, and also sharing a couple of builds which I've tested out and they seem to work really well. Okay, so without further ado, let's get started with the modules. Okay, so when it comes to modules, I tend to prefer nuclear amplifier with two immune amps. Uh, the immune amps give me more speed and more health. Um, if you're finding that your links is going down uh, pretty quickly, you could try stacking it with repair amps. Uh, so one nuclear amplifier with two repair amps might work as well. Um, you could also try a combination of uh, immune amp and repair amp. So it would be a nuclear amplifier, immune amplifier and repair amplifier. And uh, if you're running a build where it takes a while for your nuclear amplifier to charge up, for example, the Devastator build, uh, you might want to try two nuclear amplifiers with a last stand. Okay, so we have uh, that we have unstable conduit you could also use uh, phase shift or advanced repair uh, they work well okay so when it comes to drones for your links i tend to prefer damaged drones uh, right now at the time of this recording the pascal drone is the best drone in my opinion for the links uh, this is going to provide you uh, increased damage uh, so you can see additional damage on kill assist bonus damage but also resistance uh, which is going to keep your uh, links alive okay so if you don't have the pascal you know what other drones can you use uh, let's go to the store so you want to actually look at the description for each uh, drone and uh, you can actually see that if you click on the eye here uh, so this one here is mostly a repair one uh, so this isn't uh, really good this one is more for resistance okay so i don't think i would use that one either uh, the defender gives you an ansel shield i probably wouldn't be using that either um, the fly on module use damage this is one that I would consider, you know, if you're looking at the cheaper drones. Okay, so the fly uh, is a possible one. Uh, what about this one? Additional damage. You could use the sharpshooter. That might, uh, you know, be another option. Uh, the discus. Uh, speed increase. Nope, I don't think I would use that. Uh, good guy. Okay, so that's more durability and shield. And now we're going into the a little bit more expensive ones. I think this might be a good option too, because this one gives you a death mark, but also additional damage. So that might be a really good drone. Uh, the Nebula, I believe this is more healing, so I wouldn't, uh, you know, gravitate towards that. Uh, the Wasp, additional damage. I guess you could use this, but for me personally, I think I would rather get the Eye. Uh, let's see, Persephone additional damage some repair i guess you could use the persephone as another option uh, let's see what about this one here this is more uh, defensive um so if you had weapons in the game which were basically freezing you up you know for example there were a lot of cryo weapons this might be an option um but it's a very specialized uh, drone the white dot i think could be very effective um especially if you're dealing with something like a shen low uh, you know they teleport to you and your white dart gives off that emp it would disable them from escaping okay so this is a really good drone i think uh, for the links uh, we have the uh, patron okay so this is additional damage if there's a lot of blinding and stealth going on you know this is might uh, actually work so that might be an option but i think i would lean more towards the uh, white dart okay so those are pretty much the uh, drones i would use um, as far as, uh, you know, Paralysis, this is a damage drone, so I'll definitely use that. The Beak might be another really good one. Uh, Armadillo, I guess you could use this, but I tend to, uh, you know, gravitate more towards uh, the damage. Uh, so this one, I don't think I would use the Reviver. Barrel could be an option. Uh, Daltaki could be an option as well. Uh, Kestrel, definitely, although this is going to get nerfed down. But I believe it might benefit uh, stealth bots. So this might be another option if you have it. Uh, the showdown. Uh, let's see. This one I think is also a damage one, right? Uh, let's see. Fix. Uh, on stealth drop damage. Yeah, I guess you could use this as well. Um, the nice thing about the showdown, you don't lose weapons. Okay, so that's, uh, you know, the benefit. Because with the links, you definitely don't want to, you know, lose a weapon. If you lose a weapon, you only have one heavy weapon. Uh, the shy could be another one okay so there are a couple of drones you could use uh, seek is good if you have um, you know if you're finding you're running into a lot of links this is going to give you the ability to see stealth up to 300 and i think it's 350 right i think it might be 350 uh, once you have this uh, maxed out okay so we have that and the pascal uh yeah but basically focus on damage drones um you know that's what i would do especially if you are running a lower level links 
Um, so I tend to always uh, do that in order to maximize my damage output. Okay, so when it comes to the pilot and the pilot skills, I tend to prefer this pilot over here. Okay, so this pilot uh, basically increases the duration of your ability by two seconds, uh, which I think is really important because uh, if the Lynx was ever nerfed in the future where the ability doesn't last for as long as it does now, I think that extra two seconds is going to make a big difference. Uh, so I would uh, definitely use this pilot. Um, as far as my skills go, they're all centered around extra durability or resistance. That's why I have uh, things like Adam and Guardian, Armor Expert, Stubborn Warrior. And uh, if you don't play Beacon Rush or Domination, I wouldn't use this skill over here. Instead, I would either use uh, Master Gunsmith or Mechanic. Okay, and if you're wondering about the uh, Full Hardy Quartermaster, basically what this means is uh, if the health of your uh, Lynx drops down to 50%, it allows you to use uh, things like Bay Shift, Advanced Repair, Unstable Conduit, you know, whatever you have equipped. Uh, as the active module uh, on your links. Now it only gets activated once per battle just so that you are aware, uh, but definitely worth it I think in my opinion. And uh, now we're gonna take a look at different builds uh, for the links. Now one thing I should point out, I tend to gravitate towards close range builds because this way I can uh, you know take advantage of the uh, links's ability. Okay so the links's ability uh, basically I think it used to be called like the executioner but I think they changed the name. Okay, so basically you can instantly destroy an enemy uh, once uh, that enemy is low enough in terms of their health. Uh, but you can only do that uh, if they are within the 300 meter range. So that's why I tend to prefer like close range uh, builds. Uh, I know I have the subduer on here, but uh, the subduer can actually do a lot of damage even in close range. That's why I'm running it uh, right now. I'm hitting that player so that he can't heal up. Okay, we got another Kyori here in center, but I don't think he's going to survive. They're losing a lot of bots right now. That is a lot of bots. Ooh. Trying to focus on that Newton back there. Let's kill their Shenlo. I think we should attack him here. There we go. Ooh, they have a uh, they have a crisis back there. Got him. Trying to lock those players down because I need to escape here. Yeah, this build's really good at knocking down Dagon shields. We have a uh, we have a crisis or uh, not a crisis a curie. Ooh, he shouldn't have done that. Just waiting for my weapons to uh, reload. Nice. Trying to take out that Mender back there. He's almost dead. Get onto this beacon. Okay, I'll lock that guy down. I almost have my ability, so I can use that to... Uh... There we go. This guy's gone into... Uh... Actually, no, wait. He hasn't gone into... No, wait. He has. This Mender's almost dead. There we go. This build is so strong. I think it's really underrated. I'm targeting the shell to charge up my uh, nuclear amp.
There we go. Oh, there's a Manda. Yeah, I locked a couple of players there. Got to be careful of this type on. Ah, oh, come on. He's so close to dying. Okay, I'm going to move. I'm going to move into uh, this area here. What I'm doing is I'm targeting the uh, the Demeter. that guy man these punches are really good on here try to get this guy down to his last stand maybe Got him. Yeah, this guy over here. There we go. Let's just do that. This build's very, very deadly, especially to tanks. And this guy in front of me is a tank. There we go, nice. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna go over to this side here. You know what I should do is I should go after that Acho. This can do a lot of damage to an archer. Yep, there we go. They may drop in with another bot here. Let's go after... Phase shift. There we go. I think players underestimate uh, Redeemers sometimes. <laughs> These weapons might be old, but they do a lot of damage. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to break his shield, but I'm also using his shield to charge up my nuclear M. And I think he knows that. That's why I'm targeting him. Now that I'm charged, let's deal with the Archo. There we go, living legend. Oh my gosh. The amount of damage I'm doing with uh, these redeemers is kind of crazy. Let's do that. Another living legend. Just try to target him. His last stand. <laughs> He's going after me. I'm gonna go after the the Newton. Oh 
Oh my gosh, we're doing so much damage to their Newton. I'm gonna have to use my ability here though, quickly. Holy jeez. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Ability, quick! I'm in stealth. <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh my gosh, we're doing so much damage. And that is... Guys, that is with Redeemers. That's the crazy part. So anyways, guys, hope you were able to find this video helpful as far as making your link stronger. If it did, make sure to leave a thumbs up. And with that said, thank you guys for watching. Stay safe. And until the next video, I'll catch you guys later.